Hello, peons of the internet. Moon Ninja Sky Theory, and I'm finally, finally recording long overdue videos of my unepic, epic playthrough. So let's begin. I make my my name. Easy, cause fuck off. Okay, when you enter the dungeon, two skeletons with rusty axes block your way. The eerie red light that glimmers in their eyes watches you fixedly. What do you do? I load my elven bow and shoot. Whoa, 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 hang on. Are you really shooting an arrow at a monster that can't bleed? What do you think will happen? That the arrow gets stuck between its ribs and slows it down? Hey, it works in video games. <laughs> Moron. The best RPGs let you use common sense. Come on, step aside and let a cleric work. I take my holy symbol and I turn the undead. Get back to the pit from whence you came, evil creatures! Roll a d20. A blinding light appears inside their skulls. Both skeletons scream and their inert bones fall to the ground. Take that! Two skeletons in one shot! I'm good! Okay, I approach quickly to see if they carry any loot. As you approach them, you step on a loose tile. You hear a click, and a spear springs up just under your feet. Oh, no, I sprung a trap. I get a saving throw, right? Eric, pass me the chips. Hey guys, let's take a break. I have to pee. Again? Huh, <laughs> stupid beer. Into the hall, left door, light switch is outside. Hang on, I'll be back Thanks, in a minute. Thanks, Waldo. You switched off the light. I'm peeing in here. Okay, you asked for it, but I can't aim in the dark. I can't see anything. What the... Where's the toilet? I don't get it, I was just peeing in it. Oops. I think I just pissed on the floor. <laughs> Let's see if I can find the door. Nope, this is a wall. Wow, this wall is rough. I'd swear that it had wallpaper on it before. Nothing. I can't find the door, and this is definitely not a bathroom. I got a bad feeling about this. I'd better light my lighter. At least I'll see something. Find the lighter. Blah blah. One thing that I really loved about this game is that it reminded me of uh, Secret of Evermore. I used to play the shit out of that game. What's All this? The pop culture references. Stone walls, columns, darkness. Where am I? It's obvious this can't be real. Then I'm having a hallucination. Cool. It almost looks real. Uh, what's this? Uh, something ahead. It looks like I a forgot skeleton. that. I'm imagining things. Maybe it's Ricky's grandma taking it's a like nap. Dialogue every five I can see her steps. A or maybe it's Chester Copperpot. Does he have a key? Can't hurt to check. This place is crowded with traps. Oh, I get it. The hallway, the skeleton, the trap. I'm imagining myself in an RPG. Then I must be in a dungeon or castle that my subconscious has created. Okay. While this hallucination lasts, I get to be the player in my own RPG. Cool. I'll compete against myself. Even if I've never been a dungeon master. I'd better draw a map so I don't get lost. Press map to... Hospitality. Um, hey, I don't want to be a bother, okay? Fear not. It will be no trouble to possess your soul and make you an eternal inhabitant of this castle. What? No! That was scary. The shadow thing pounced at me. Wait a minute. Where did it go? This is not possible. There is no faith in this soul. I cannot control this body. I hear that voice inside of me. I've been possessed. Damn it, I can't escape. 
been trapped within this body, in this prison of flesh. I'm possessed. I'm possessed. Why do you go around possessing people, huh? When I possess a soul, I can gain control of its body, and I can do whatever pleases me. Yeah, but it didn't work with me, did it? Ha! <laughs> Stupid creature. I just have to wait patiently for your death. Then I will be free again. In this place, it won't take too long. Yeah, whatever. Sooner or later, the hallucination will wear off anyway, so you don't scare me. Okay. Well, that I forgot, the beginning zone is, like, dialogue heavy. Look at these corpses. In days of yore, they were creatures who dared to enter the castle. Now their bones are a testament to their bravery. Yours will join them soon. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, a sword! Finally! It must have belonged to this corpse. Hey, Dark Smoke Guy, you're lucky, you know. If I had this sword before, I could have split you in two pieces. <laughs> Do not make me laugh, mortal. If thou weren't so stupid, thou would know that I have no body and no weapon can harm me. But in video games, I killed hundreds of ghosts with a sword. A world where shadows and spirits can be hurt by ordinary weapons? Not only are you stupid, but also a liar. Good. Shut up. I'm taking my sword anyway. Come to on. Collect the sword. Shut up. Oop, wrong one. Let's uh, assign this to L1X. Yep. Okay. Huzzah. Boom! Look at all this loot. I'm rich. Gold is, what, nearly two grand an ounce? With just one of these coins, I could buy the new console. Jeez, I'm an idiot. This is all a hallucination, damn it. It's like when you dream that you win the lottery and wake up with nothing. Take some coins. You could buy powerful artifacts and deadly weapons. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're waiting for my death to be free, aren't you? Why would you give me advice? Stop asking foolish questions. Look carefully at how these coins shine. Yes. Shiny coins. If you wish to collect them. Not today, Satan. Go back. Thou left your coins. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Thanks anyway. Press menu to open the menu and access to all its options. Shut up. Oh, a snake! It's enormous! It's as tall as me! Press attack to attack. Edged weapons like swords are. Shut up. Snake! Snake! <laughs> snake! A chest. And God where damn a it. Chest, there's loot. Press. Okay, put this one. Uh, the L1 square. Okay. Hmm. There are some barrels here. Looks like they've been here for a long time. They're rotten. That means they're meant to be broken. Maces and axes are super effective against solid objects or armored monsters. Swords, daggers, and spears are less effective. Using the mace against barrels is the best option. Hmm. Another snake. Let's make some snake steaks.
A torch. Let's light it, because it's really dark in here. Chris. Shut up. Hey, an oil lamp. Or something like that. I'd better light it, too. Hope that Belmont doesn't show up and start putting them out with his whip. Press action. Hey, Dark Smokey Dude, what's your name? I have no name. How's that work? The Lord of this castle has no name? You are mistaken. I am not the Lord of this castle. I am a shadow, and my task is to protect this place. You're just a minion. One of those one hit point wonders. If I had a pinch of the immense power of my lord, I could destroy you just like that. Well, Shadow Guy, this castle and your master are figments of my imagination. Let's say that I am the great creator of everything. And in a while, everything will disappear and then no one will have to be destroyed just like that. You, a pathetic creature of meat and bone, the creator of everything. <laughs> Are you a liar or a fool? Whatever, but I'm gonna give you a name. Names mean nothing to me. Let's see. What about Zero? It's what I lovingly call one of my favorite characters. Do not dare call me that. Okay. That pointless talk is done. Aha. Healing. Arrows. Let's put this at R1X. There we go. Crouch when near an. Shut up. Essences. Shut the fuck up. Ah. It is recommended to shut up. That's the that's the sewers. the gods of Cobalt. What is this thing? It's a magical prison. Within lies one of the pure spirits of Harnikin. There's a spirit locked in that box? What, like a rival god? You're mistaken, fatuous mortal. The spirit within is under the command of the great master. Really? Why is it locked up? It is a pure spirit. It cannot exist in this plane. The box isolates and protects it. However, it can communicate through that beam of light. Wow, must be an important guy. What's he do? I will not reveal that information. No? Okay, I'll ask it myself. You? <laughs> Foolish mortal. He will never talk to an insignificant slug like you. Really? We'll see. Okay. Good. There we go. Me unlock this. Hiya. Okay. 
And Taro Adun. Who is he? Can't you tell? I've possessed this body to carry out an important mission for my great lord Harnakon. You filthy liar! On Korobash, it's been a long time. What is this body you've taken? I haven't seen a being like this. This body I've taken belongs to a privileged race. The humans. In that case, I shall restore this vessel's vitality and remove any afflictions from it. Thank you. My great lord will be pleased with your assistance. I shall return if I need healing. There's something else. My great lord has given me a new name. From now on, I shall be known as Zira. It will be as you say, Zera. As long as I can get here, I'll be safe. Press action. Ankora Bash Zera, your health has been restored. Game saved. Did you hear, Zera? I have guaranteed healing. It's amazing. If I get hurt and I get back here, I'll be renewed. Just like resting in an inn in Dragon Warrior. <laughs> I just have to not die before getting back here. Thou art a blackguard and a rogue for supplanting me. A better man would show his titles and name with pride. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm not big on ceremony. Go up here. It's a merchant. That's right. His name is Zoran. I can read. Thanks. He is a hustler, a user, <laughs> a swindler. Must be like. He will try. I guess like medieval fantasy, and the guy has me on lights. <laughs> will be able to obtain all his belongings. Thanks for the tip. Hmm. If you want me to kill him, it's because you want him dead, or you know that he can kill me easily. Either way, no deal. I never see you before. I'm um a Sith, a Dark Knight. My name is Dark Helmet, and I have been sent to protect my lord's castle by Harnakon himself. You welcome to humble store, O oh great Dark Knight. Name is Zoran, and me Butter. Wish Butter you? We have lots of goods. It's great pleasure to Butter with protectors. To buy or sell. Shut up. Um. Don't think there was anything for me to do. We can sell that. Okay. On 
hard. Okay, this way. Nope, wait. I was going the right way. Shut up. Okay, I leveled up, so let's see. Sword, mace, bow, constitution, and armor. Yep. Papers and books, all of them written in old and strange languages. Okay, got me a ring. Did 
that do it? No, I did not do everything in here. There's a missing torch somewhere. Don't worry about it later. something shining there in the darkness. Maybe it's a coin or something useful. Hey, who was that little guy? He took my shiny thing and teleported away. <laughs> These little greedy thieves take everything they can. That's why I don't find any items or coins on the ground. Maybe if I drop something, they'll appear and I can kill them. Don't underestimate them. They are extremely cautious. They will never show up if you are nearby. I see. If you leave, I'd... <sighs> okay. That's the mines. What is your role in this place? Do so what much do? Talking. What do you mean? You have climbed the great mountain. Crossed the eternal clouds and entered this forbidden place risking your life. You must have a significant reason for this. Great mountain? Eternal clouds? I have no idea what you're talking about. I just know that I was at Rick's and suddenly I appeared in this castle. Do you insinuate that you are ignorant of the reason of why you are here? I just know that I was at Rick's and suddenly I appeared in this castle, but I don't know what my goal is in this adventure. Normally, adventurers talk to a fella who looks for adventurers in a tavern, but I didn't get that. Maybe I should go to an oracle who reveals my destiny. Hey, Zero, where can I find an oracle here? There is no oracle in this place. If there were, they should not deign to speak to a stupid mortal. Yeah, naturally. Like you'd tell me, anyway. I'll keep exploring to see if I find any clue of why I'm here. It's identical to the one I saw before. Let's see if I can open it. Press and... Okay. Go up this. Do the side quest. Greetings, adventurer. Do not be afraid. My name has been long forgotten. I was once an adventurer like you, but I was killed by the traps in this room. I cannot rest in peace as long as these traps remain active. Adventurer, there is a lever that controls all of the traps in this room. Find it and pull it. If you do, all the traps will be disabled, and I may finally rest Talks in too peace. slow. Beware. The path is littered with traps. Proceed with caution 
and watch out for the tiles that activate them. I tried to rush past them, but that was my downfall. It would be best to activate the traps one by one and step aside to avoid them. Poor wretch. He is trapped in this world. You should help free his soul. He deserves to rest in peace. Wow, Zira, I'm moved. You have a heart after all. Or is it because the room's full of deadly traps? Okay. Potion of trap detection. Crouch to a. Shut up. Like Link. So good till that very end. In the game menu. Shut up. You. You did it. I am eternally grateful. You're welcome, my friend. By the way, do you know of any oracle nearby? You have questions that need answers. There is a wise creature who lives at the top of the mine. Maybe he can help you. Here is the key to enter the mine. See you in the far beyond. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> I need to get over there. My name is Zira. I am a dark warrior and high servant of the great Harnakon. And who are you? Me is Zorok, great master of Shen. In other words, you're a cook. And which is your specialty? Roasted elven steak? Or maybe dwarf intestines in cockroach sauce? Me sells recipes to create magic potions. To buy recipe. Shut up. Um. Recipes. Yeah. 
you acquired a recipe. Recipes are used. Shut up. Potions. Shut up. Okay, uh, that's done. Okay. To the mines! 